Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to do things such as check hard drive usage, look for duplicate files, do disk cleanup, custom searches, and more. So it's called Disk Boss. So this is the free version. They have a professional version that has even more features. So one thing I will tell you, if you're using Chrome to download this, it's going to block it for some reason. So I'm not sure why it thinks there's a problem, but I think it's okay because most of the time, if you find software that's free, but they also have a pay for version, that's a good indication that the free version is okay because they're not going to put in some kind of malware in a version of their software that you're paying for. At least we hope not. Okay, so once you open the program, you will need to add the drives or folders you want to analyze or search or whatever task you want to use. Okay, so I'm using the C drive, which is the main Windows drive, and then I have this data drive, this E drive. So up here you have all of your functions, search, sync, analyze, classify, duplicates, and so on. So we're going to just go through some of these real quick, and then you can try the rest out yourself. All right, so if we click on search, so you could pick your directories here. And if we want to search for something, you have the file name, extension, all these other options that you could search on. Contains, you have wildcards, ends with, and so on. We'll just do sales for our example here. And you could add another search term as well if you click on the plus button there, but we're just going to do this one here. We'll just do both drives. And there's some rules here you could change if you want. You have some options here for search results, advanced, exclusions, actions, options. You could add another folder here, edit it, delete it. So when we click on search, it's not going to let us continue unless everything's filled in. So we're going to have to delete this one. All right, we'll click on search. So it's searching both drives or anything with sales in it. Then it shows the directory, the size, the created, modified date. And here's the file types. And you can have some options here if you want to categorize by these other options. So if we want to categorize by creation time, we could do that. So five of these files were created 15 to 30 days ago. One of them was two to three years ago. And then of course, there's a lot of other options here you could choose from. And then once you click on one, you could copy, move, delete, save it. We have some charts here. If you want to change, you know, search results per file size. So this is using 100% of the search. per top directory. So five in this file, four in this folder here, one here, one here. Then you can even do extension if you want. Six of them are Word documents, five are Excel files, and so on. And you could change your view options if you want to do that as well. Okay, so there is the search option here. You could also do some synchronization as well if you choose the source and destination directory. So let's say we do documents. And on this one here, we're going to go to the E drive. Let's preview. So you can see here it found the duplicates here. If it wanted to synchronize with the source and destination, then it even has a delete option here because these files were not here. So it's going to delete them. And you could come down here and select all actions, select all delete actions, which is already selected. We could unselect all delete actions right there if we want to make sure it doesn't delete it. And then we could synchronize. So that's just a quick overview of that. You could check that out more on your own. All right, let's see what Analyze does. So we have both of the hard drives here. And of course, you don't have to analyze everything. You can just pick a specific folder if you want. Okay, let's see if we can move this up here. So when it comes to the most types of files, that would be DLLs. We have 22,000 of them on this computer, which is a lot. EXEs. And you can see it covers all kinds of different files. And you could change the categorization here, of course. File size, if you want to see the larger files. So here's very large files. You could actually export it to a database, which is kind of nice. You could save your categories. You can also categorize by last access date if you want. 
Then once you're in here, you have your options up here as well. If you want to see a chart view of it, So since we had all the boxes selected, it goes through all the charts like so. Then you have your chart options here as well. If you want to see your top files sorted by file size, for example. So here's the largest file right here. And then you can take action on them if you want to, let's say, delete this one because you don't need it any longer. Export it, move, copy it, change the views here as well. Then you, then you also have the option to search here as well. Okay, now let's talk about the duplicate option. So instead of scanning all the drives, I'm just going to pick some specifics here. So documents once again. Since I know there are some duplicates here. All right, click on start. Okay, so it doesn't show both, it'll just show one of them. And if you come here to select, you could choose to have it show the newest files as the duplicates, which are here on the C drive, most of them, or the oldest, which will show on the E drive. Then you have some right click options for exporting to database, copy duplicates to clipboard, replace them, move them, compress them, delete all duplicates. Then you have your charts here as well. So duplicate disk space per file size. Then you have some more options up here as well. Then you could execute it. And then you have your categorize options down here like we saw before. So most of these duplicates are documents, then pictures, and then internet files. All right, let's see what attributes does. So if you want to set selected attributes for all process files in a directory, you could do that. Reset, set creation date, make some rules, exclusions, advanced options. All right, let's check out compare. So like I said, I'm not going to go through everything here, just the most useful ones. Okay, let's uh, check out the source and directory here. Let's do documents again. And then the same folder on the E drive. Compare. Okay, so most of these don't exist. Then we have extra file and destination directory for these two. So this may or may not be a super useful option. All right, and then I want to mention the wizard. So if you want to just have a wizard mode where you could just kind of go through, like for the disk space analysis, you could pick one of these and have the wizard walk you through it. Same for file classifications, duplicate file search, rule-based file search, uh, this one is kind of nice, except you can't do it on the free version. And what this will do is monitor changes to your disk, depending on which type of change you want to monitor. Then here you can see all the tasks that you've run during your session. Jobs are not available with the free version. Then you have some reports here from jobs you've run. Then up here you have some options for loading your reports, your views, uh, specific commands, your bookmarks. So this automatically put the C and E drive in the bookmarks since I've been using those the most. Same for my documents, your history, and you have some other tools here. I'll just check out the disk cleaner real quick while we're here. All right, so there's not a lot on this computer, but it did find some temporary files, internet files, and that's about it. Then you could change the mode here, take action on it, then you could clean it up if you like. So it's just a basic file cleaner, but might come in handy. So there is your basic overview of Disk Boss. So I will put a link in the description and then you could download it and try it out for yourself and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.